been a long time, I know, but um, I'm finally back from our trip. Uh, we went over to Wales for a week, so I'm back, and, and I'm back in the studio working on some journals, and I've completed these four, which I it just seems like it's taken me forever to do these. Um, I started these some time back, but they're done, and they're now listed in my uh, website in my shop, so let's just... Um, I'm going to go through one because they are all pretty much the same. Um, but let me just show you uh, how what it is. It's a clutch with a coordinating um, journal inside. And the clutch has been made out of a paper bag. And then I've come back over it and um, I've collaged pages. And then I've added... Um, beeswax to it and then I've done a little ruffle with some old buttons and then I made the closure one large button here so that it can kind of tuck underneath there. Um, so I just think they turned out so so cute. So let me sit these to the side here and I'll show you this. This is the other one here. And as I said, all of the journals are the same. They're all one signature. Um, and then I've got this one. So I'll probably call this one Rose, which has got more of the red. So that one I'll name the Rose. And then this one will be just be pink because it's got a bit more pink to it. This one I'll name... Um, bluebird and then this one I'll just call this one the uh, butterfly because it's got a bit of butterfly I better write that down or I'm going to forget it oh well uh, yeah I'll have to come back and I should have done this beforehand but I haven't had time I just completed them I wanted to get on here um, so this one again just a big button there um, some old buttons here and as I said, they're all, they've all been made pretty much the same. And then going inside, these are the journal covers that I made out of the window envelopes. So I had a bit of time to play with, around with those more. So these are one signature. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how many papers, because like I said, I made these a while back. So going inside... You've got a couple of tags here on the front, some journaling uh, tags that are tucked in here. And most of the papers were between Artie Mays and Tsunami Rose. So, um, and then the, it's just a real mix of other uh, bits from my stash. So. Because I've, I've got stuff from so many people, I know I won't remember them all, but the papers were predominantly Artie Mays and uh, Tsunami Rose. Because they're very vintage looking, so. And then here I did, I took some of the offcuts and just created some little ruffles rather than throwing them out. So I like the way that came out. Old book pages old ledger page that I turned into another little pocket here and there's quite a lot of stitching through this journal as you can probably already see. Um, here I've made a little paper clip and then this is an Artie Mays from one of her kits and then this um, on the back here I've just made a little photo die tuck spot here with several little tags. And then here I've done some stamping, and that flips out, so you've got more writing space there. So there's there's a lot of space to write in on these, but I just love the way that the um, the little clutch coordinates. I think they're just adorable. Um, some uh, tea dyed papers in this. I think it's all tea dyed in this one, and just old book pages of all sorts and just tags that I've made with um, this is kind of part of my stash busting you know to use up more of my um, scrapbook papers and uh, various um, digitals that I've got laying around 
here I've got um, a double pocket out of some book page. I love the um, the coloring of these pages. They're just beautiful. And then I've just made some little tags that I've tucked inside there. A little snippet. Like I said, everything, all of the journals are the same. They're just going to be um, put in a little bit different way. <coughs> Excuse me. Some uh, grid paper that I've tea dyed. Old uh, doily here. More stamping. I do love these papers. They're collage beautifully. And then in here, I've got um, this old journal card. It's an old postcard, but um, that is a freebie from Artie Mays. And then here, I've got another page that flips over. Some more stamping. And just bits and pieces from my um, stash. Here I've done a little um, double pocket here with some tags. And these are um, inspired by um, Patricia Viramonte. So thank you, Patricia. She's really good with uh, showing us what to do, you know, how to use our book pages. So, oh, I, I didn't realize I haven't made something for these. So they've all got a window envelope, and I will create a, a card to go in that. I overlook that completely. So I will correct that before those go out. <clears throat> and then here's just a little tag and I've made a little window here with some tracing paper and just more paper from my stash more of the ledger paper and then just a little altered uh, paper well actually this is one of the altered uh, hairpins and I like, I like to use those. Those are nice for um, clipping things in. And I think this is another freebie from Artie Mays. I'm pretty sure that is. So I just tucked that in there and clipped it in. I thought that was really pretty. So a lot of writing space. And then on the back, I just did a little coin envelope here. And uh, you can add some things to it. Let's see how have I done that one. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Um, and then I've I've made oh that's coming kind of done. That's got a pocket behind, and then there's also a pocket in here. Like I said, I started these uh, a couple weeks back, so I've kind of forgotten, you know, how where the tuck spots and things were. But that's got a double, you know place inside and then behind here as well. So I've just cut them plain because I wanted to make sure that they would fit inside the um, clutch without, <clears throat> you know, too many things to catch on it. But I'm really happy with how these came out. I think they're just really sweet. Um, and again, let me just show you. So this will be the butterfly. And the one that I flipped through, we will call that the butterfly because it's got it on the front here. I just love these. I think they're so, so sweet. And as I said, I put um, beeswax over all of those so it sealed it really nice. <clears throat> so that's the butterfly. This one is going to be the rose. You can see. How that one looks, that's rose. This one's bluebird. You can see that. And then this one, I've just called it the pink. Actually, I could call this yellow rose. Yeah, I'll do that. This will be the yellow rose there. That might sound a little bit better. So there they are, guys. That's the four that I've got ready to ship. So if you're interested in these, um, check out my shop. I'll put the link below, and I will be back very soon. I've got several projects on the works, so I've got a lot to show you guys next week. But I hope everybody's been okay, <clears throat> and I hope you guys have all um, had the chance to play around, you know, make some nice things while I was away. I'm just trying to catch up now on <clears throat> some of the videos and 
things when I've got a bit of time. I'm way behind on everybody's projects, so hopefully I can catch up on that over the next couple of days. But you guys take care, and I'll be back here very, very soon. Bye.